Hello and welcome to Hot Pop Vlog. I'm Dagi, I'm from Germany and I want to show you how to make a quail voliere today. I want to show you uh, much more things on my vlog now and I will be happy if you like everything and if I get a subscribe from you or a thumb up. Okay, bye for now. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, yesterday I was in a workshop for getting the material and I have here uh, some bars and some bars, two different bar kind of bars. Um, here I have the things for doing everything, like a saw, um, the screws and a drilling machine and yeah. <laughs> I'm already excited for doing this because I'm excited of the quails which I can get from a good friend of mine yeah so let's start it so uh, we have a very old shed here and I'm uh, the height is not so high so I have to shorten these uh, bars now um uh, three meters and these are the the masses of them so i have to shorten them now on two meters 30 that's the highest i can do here for the quails a, a voliere then the uh, the voliere has to be 30 centimeters or two meters minimum because when they fly up they can break their necks otherwise so we don't have, want to have this so i make it minimum two meters high but i want to do a deep litter here in the voliere that means after one year for example it can be 20 centimeters high and i want to go inside without keeping the neck like that <laughs> so yeah that's why i'm doing it a bit higher so uh after sewing all these bars here um yeah it's they are nine now with the height of uh for two meters uh, 25 we decided to do it like that so we have to screw these little things here in the corners and for stabilizing the voliere. Okay, let's do it. So I'm shortly alone here outside in the shed. Um, I shortened this little bar here so that I can put it in the middle of these two long bars. Um, and this is becoming uh, a sand bath for the boys and girls because they really love it and it's very important to um, to have it so that you can sorry it was changing uh, so that you can uh, that the quails can have a bath and it's good for their health okay so this is Nico our dog he wants to help me here <laughs> yeah he's ne nearly everywhere where I am so it's normal for me that he's with me here outside in the shed so this is becoming the place here for the the quails I can show you now um, these bars uh, sorry these uh, boards I have to put inside later for doing the ground here it was a former um, cow shed here, so that's why here is a, a little bit higher. Here was the eating inside, the meal, the grass, and so on. And the quails will have here a will have here a window and another one on the other side. So I have to do these ang. I remember now the word. It's an ankle. <laughs> Um, I have to do the angles here now too for the sand bath and for the uh, shortened 
bars so that they can stand and hold the volier. Yeah, I think he's <laughs> enjoying it here outside. <laughs> it looks like. Uh, sorry if I don't remember a word sometimes, but I decided to do the videos in English because, uh, yeah, so that many people can understand what I'm doing here. So as you can see here, we have a big hole in the ground. Um, for this, I decided to make this little board here. And the window is also a little bit out of the from the wall. So I was checking how the centimeters here uh, with with this little bar here. And so now I can uh, put the long bar here and make it with a screw. This one is the place where the where this little long bar is coming on. So I have to make an angle here too for the for the small bars. Yeah, and here is the shortened bar for the sand bath coming in. Yeah, let's do this. So this is the little plate I put here inside. I hope it's getting sharp here. Yeah. Uh, so I will do here the other bar and this is the, uh, for the sand bath then. I will um, have I have to look what I'm putting here under the bars. So yeah. The next thing is I'm going this is this is the next problem here. This one it was for drinking for the cows. So I have made a little line here. That means the the um, the sand bath will become a little bit smaller than the normal length of the whole uh, voliere, but it doesn't matter now. I have to make a little angle here for because of this little drinking here. Yeah, let's do this now. So these are the ankles now here for the sand bath. I have to connect it to this long three meter bar here now. I start here in the in the back here. So this is the plate for closing the hole I showed you before. Okay. So we made here the bars now and I already started with one board. This is coming up here now and I have to sew the other ones because they are only 250 meters. So that we can he uh, put here the short ones then. So I will show you now how I will do it. So I wanna make now the... Uh, these boards on. They are 250 long. So there is here something to put the other uh, other board inside. So this is not the right here. That have been the screws now, <laughs> but that's not the problem here. Yeah, okay. Normally we say here, if something is falling down, you should finish your work. <laughs> but we want to make it good and so... We want to finish. As you can see here, I put my hair together now for the work. So everything is safe here. Yeah. 
yeah. One. <clears throat> Two. And number three. So I'm doing this now with five boards five boards high so that the uh, the deep litter will become 20 centimeters maybe I don't know at the moment so that nothing, nothing can fall out of the volier So this looks good already. Yeah, okay. finish this now with the next two boards too so let's see you later again so after a short hard fight <laughs> we finished here with a with the little boards too and uh, it's becoming heavy now I also sewed here the little corner out as you can see so now I want to continue with uh, here combining uh, the, board, the bars. Um, therefore, I'm taking a little one piece here from the suit bar, making a line so that I know where the ankle has to go to. So and now I have to do um, make it with the drilling machine. One moment. So this is how it looks like now. And now I have to make it a little. I have to make a little bar now between these two longs now. So one moment. So this is now for the ground. And this is becoming the height here. Height. And now I am. I have to uh, put the boards here in the back of the volier because when it's standing at the wall, I cannot do it anymore. Hmm? <laughs> so that's why I'm doing it now. You. Here we go with the little board shortened on two meters now from 250 and I have to combine it now with the ground system and I will show you when I've done with all five okay so we screwed the boards now I'm saying we because uh, my little daughter Leonie was helping me here. Hello. <laughs> because uh, as you can see it here, the the bars are coming inside here. So she pressed it a bit into the direction of the of the other window here, and uh, so that it's becoming a little bit more uh, in vertical so this is how it looks like now now I have to 
make the little bar here between this long one and the, the other one here and the, on the back and these long ones are for the top of the voliere that no cat can go inside or anything else yeah so I have to shorten this little short bar now I will give you to Leonie now so she can do the video for me she's my videographer <laughs> <laughs> today so we need one meter forty eight so one meter forty eight then we come Connect the two for one line, and then we have to sew it. One moment, I'm getting the sew. So, if anyone means that I'm not doing it on my own, yes, I'm doing it. I love shooting. Because I found out when I do it here now, it's easier to connect to the long ones. I start on the other side. Attention, please. So. drilling machine okay Maybe you are thinking, oh, she's good with the drilling machine. <laughs> yeah, sometimes. Or most times, not always. Thanks. Um. <laughs> but. When I learned my profession, 
I had to work with a drilling machine too, so... So, now we have to connect it with the long ones here. That means we have to put the long for the top a little bit away. So, we are at the end of our work now because we, ca we cannot continue. I need the net first so that I can put the net here and the long way here on this side uh, so that we can uh, push the whole voilier into this corner. So yeah, we made the other bars here and I also finished this one. And this one becomes the door for coming inside the shed, the voliere. And uh, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you like or you enjoyed the time with us. Sorry that I cannot show every step we, how we worked or when we worked. <laughs> but uh, I was doing it with Leonie now. And uh, I have to buy the next material first, but I will do this on Friday. Oh, this bar I will do on Friday too, I think, or maybe now, no, I don't know. Uh, so that we can uh, put the screws from the back too. And then we need a net out of iron. And yeah, but I think it looks already very good now. I hope you enjoyed the time with us. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the time with us here. As I said already. Um, yeah, I will be happy if you uh, will leave a thumb up or a subscription. That would be very nice and yeah, till I continue with the, shed, with the voliere here, sorry. Um, maybe on Friday, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> I'm already hyped for the quails, so yeah, let's do it. Bye for now.